The new year has begun, and this year, Tesla Bot is expected to continue dominating the media and captivating tech enthusiasts with its crazy updates. It will be capable of performing numerous tasks it has never done before, such as washing dishes, cooking, and cleaning the house. Chores most of us don't want to do or simply don't have time for. Most astonishing of all, the Gen 3 version is also set to launch early this year following the completion of a new design and other upgrades, including faster mobility and improved hands. Elon Musk has confirmed that Tesla plans to produce at least 10,000 robots this year to meet the demand for a limited shipment by the end of the year. So, will Tesla be able to manufacture millions of Optimus robots? Can it truly become a best homemaker? Welcome to Tesla Car World. What do you think about Tesla producing different versions of the humanoid Optimus robot and selling them at various price points? Of course, there will be clear distinctions between the versions. If the current Optimus Gen 2 has already amazed us, the next version, Gen 3, will leave an even stronger impression. This version will feature upgraded hands, a new design, and improved performance specifications, all aimed at making Optimus Gen 3 more versatile and capable of handling tasks better than the current version. Although it wasn't released in December as Elon Musk initially announced, Optimus Gen 3 is expected to debut this year with a range of incredible upgrades. It will be able to handle twice as many tasks as Gen 2. Additionally, Optimus will move faster and have a much more natural gait. One of the most anticipated features of Optimus Gen 3 is its revolutionary hand design. Clearly, Optimus Gen 2, which already impressed with its dexterity and tasks demonstrated by Tesla, set a high standard. However, Optimus Gen 3 will have hands with double the degrees of freedom. This upgrade not only enhances functionality, but also redefines what a humanoid robot can achieve. From simple tasks to precision-demanding activities, TeslaBot's new hands provide a significant advantage. For example, in a demo video, it was shown catching a ball with perfect accuracy, something only the new hands could achieve. Moreover, the integration of advanced sensors and improved water resistance allows Gen 3 to handle twice the number of tasks Gen 2 struggled with. Whether it's cooking, washing dishes, or performing water-related chores, Gen 3 excels. Imagine asking Tesla Bot Gen 2 to fold clothes. It would only fold them. But Gen 3 can sort them by color and material, then neatly organize them into your wardrobe. That's the difference. Tesla has also perfected the off-road navigation capabilities of the Optimus robot, and Gen 3 will showcase even greater advancements. With lighter materials and more powerful actuators, Gen 3 will not only move fluidly, but also have a much more natural gait. Its mobility speed will also surpass that of Gen 2. While functionality is a key factor, the aesthetic appeal of Tesla Bot should not be overlooked. As Elon Musk suggested, Optimus Gen 3 may feature a unique design. Although specifics are still unclear, we can expect a sleeker appearance possibly including features like a display screen on Optimus's face or customizable body colors. With a price point likely exceeding the $20,000 to $30,000 range of Gen 2, Optimus Gen 3 is clearly targeting a more premium market segment, potentially ranging from $50,000 to $80,000. This aligns with Tesla's strategy of offering differentiated solutions to meet the diverse needs of customers. What do you think about this price range? especially when Optimus Gen 3 can handle twice the number of tasks and features significantly upgraded performance specs compared to Gen 2. Now you might think, oh, it still moves like Joe Biden. But consider that Optimus is essentially blindfolded, as Musk mentioned on X. We believe you'll think differently. If you tried going down a similar slope while blindfolded, your first thought would likely be about the worst case scenario, a pretty painful fall. Yes, this might not be the latest information, but we believe it's important to help you better understand Optimus and perhaps ease some of the criticism regarding its still limited movements. Clearly, most of us have been misled. When Optimus climbs a slope, it does move slowly. But what we want to highlight here is how its movement closely mimics that of a human up to 70% when navigating a slippery incline its legs bend more to lower its center of gravity. While it may not look exactly human, this is reasonable given that the physical structure of Tesla Bot is not identical to the human body. 
Therefore, expecting it to move exactly like a human is unrealistic. Many of us have slipped while walking down slopes covered with bark or gravel. But Optimus doesn't fall, it just nearly slips and quickly adjusts to regain balance. Witnessing a robot like Optimus recover from a slip, maintain its balance and avoid falling is a clear demonstration of its quick response to unexpected challenges, especially in error recovery. If you watch this video, you might think it's just a simple demonstration of a robot going up and down a slope. But for those with technical knowledge or experience in robotics, you'll realize this is not something a typical robotics company could achieve. We're confident that you won't find another humanoid robot besides Optimus capable of handling such terrain situations. Tesla has an advantage with the best processing chips for rapid inference. Elon Musk says Tesla has the best robot brain in the world and also the best real-world AI technology. You need to be the best in real-world AI, and Tesla's the best in real-world AI. Therefore, when they have thousands of robots, learning will accelerate, because when one Optimus performs a new task, the data processed for that task will be instantly shared with all other robots. This is the reason why Tesla is advancing rapidly with Optimus, making it difficult for other robotics companies to catch up. Have you ever thought about a world where humanoid robots roam your house every day? Besides helping you with many tasks, could they generate at least $20,000 in profit annually? We believe you might be skeptical, but years ago, none of us would have thought that one day a driverless car could automatically take us down the street. The unimaginable is happening at a rapid pace, like bringing things out of science fiction movies into the real world. Yes, that's exactly what Tesla is materializing. Elon Musk is a billionaire with ambitions that surpass human imagination. He wants Tesla to be more than just an electric vehicle company. He wants to change the way we live and work. With Tesla Bot Gen 2, a versatile humanoid robot and cyber cab, an autonomous taxi, a fully automated life where humans no longer need to work is closer than ever. Tesla is currently manufacturing Optimus at Giga Texas, one of the most advanced factories in the world, although there is no dedicated production line yet. Around 100 Optimus robots have been hand-assembled by Tesla's engineering team. This demonstrates the company's flexibility and creativity in the early stages. Tesla even showcased nearly 50 units at an event last October, where they interacted with attendees. Optimus truly stole the spotlight at the event, and to date, Tesla is the only company capable of bringing a humanoid robot to life for customers to experience firsthand. However, Elon Musk has announced that Tesla will produce billions of Optimus robots. This may sound exaggerated and hard to believe, but it is entirely feasible for a company like Tesla. As Tesla transitions to the scaling phase, they will optimize production processes by automating key stages, from assembling the robot's frame to integrating electronic components and fine-tuning software. The collaboration between manufacturing robots and workers will create a synchronized, efficient, and rapid production process. Have you ever heard of the possibility that a Tesla bot could build another Tesla bot? This is a scenario that could become reality as Tesla moves closer to its goal of producing 1 million Optimus units. By at least 2026, the world will transform as people increasingly find themselves short on time. By then, we could purchase a Tesla bot and place it in our homes, ready to clean, do laundry, cook, care for pets, and educate children. Tasks most of us rarely find time to do. From the beginning, Optimus was designed to resemble human nature as closely as possible. That's why everything from its design to its size is not too different from a human. Compared to fully-faced robots like Amika, Optimus simply features a black head with an LED strip, making it appear less intimidating. We think kids would scream if Optimus looked like a mecha. Although it is a robot, Optimus can talk and use body language to interact with humans as naturally as possible. This is a significant advantage, especially in getting acquainted with children. Notably, the Tesla bot can understand emotions and execute tasks with very high precision, thanks to its advanced vision and sensor systems. Tesla Bot Gen 2 is equipped with the 4680 battery, the most advanced battery in the world. With just 2.5 kilowatt hours, this robot can operate continuously for 10 hours. During that time, Optimus can perform various tasks without needing to pause, ensuring work remains uninterrupted. That's a major advantage, isn't it? 
The hands of Optimus have 22 degrees of freedom, coming closest to the flexibility of the human hand, which has 27 degrees. This allows it to handle up to 60% of the tasks we perform daily. In recent times, alongside the praise and excitement people have shown for the latest updates received by Tesla Optimus, particularly the new generation hand that hints at a new version expected to launch in quarter one, 2025. There has also been significant controversy and ridicule. This stems from repeated instances of Tesla bot being discovered to be remotely controlled. This has led many to doubt the robot's ability to autonomously perform tasks when it reaches customers. Of course, no one wants to spend tens of thousands of dollars on a robot that operates under manual control. That would be genuinely unhelpful. In response to these debates, Elon Musk has explained why Tesla Optimus needs to be remotely controlled at this stage. In our opinion, this is necessary. Back in 2019, when Elon Musk first mentioned the CyberCab, a driverless vehicle with no steering wheel or pedals that could fully operate on public roads at the Autonomy Day event, no one believed his words. Even four years later, in 2023, people continued to mock the idea due to the lack of any updates or announcements from Musk about the vehicle. Yet, it was finally unveiled this October, exactly as Musk described, although Tesla took far too long to deliver it. Furthermore, it won't officially be operational until 2026. Similar to Tesla's process of developing self-driving cars, achieving full autonomous operation for the Optimus robot will require a tremendous amount of time and training effort. However, given the current pace of progress, as seen in quarter four last year, Optimus has been consistently receiving improvements and upgrades. Compared to electric vehicles, it's clear Tesla has recently prioritized Optimus development. Even Kim Kardashian's promotion of Optimus is part of the plan for this humanoid robot. In fact, the remote control of Optimus became more prevalent after the Wii Robot event concluded in October. Discussions about Tesla employees intervening in the robot's autonomous capabilities spread widely. Specifically, it was revealed that Optimus's actions, reactions, voice, and language all were remotely controlled. According to what we know, the reason Optimus was remotely controlled during the Wii Robot event was that Musk informed employees only three weeks beforehand that he wanted the robot to participate in the CyberCab event. The sudden announcement and tight schedule left employees with insufficient time to finalize the software, meaning the robot had to be operated remotely. Remote control was also intended to optimize the experience for event attendees. Regarding the demo video of the newly trained robotic hand via remote control, this was simply a necessary part of Optimus's ongoing research process at the factory. As Milan Kovac shared on X, this little video was made last night in the lab, teleoperated, and is real time. Gives us confidence that we'll very soon be making all new bots with those on. Ultimately, Elon Musk noted that the humanoid robot might even be able to catch a ball automatically at some point this year. He wrote on 10, Easy move to connect AI vision with arm actuation to catch autonomously. Will be done next quarter. We are just testing the actuation and sensor system here. Yeah. From our perspective, on the positive side, temporary teleoperated is an exciting application for humanoid robots. Teleoperated will allow humans to operate Optimus in dangerous situations. For example, in fire rescue operations, humans might suffer from smoke inhalation, but Optimus would not. Ultimately, acknowledging this tele-operated capability marks a significant step forward compared to Tesla's previous activities, where similar events often left ambiguity about automation capabilities. The tele-operated demo remains part of the development process, with Tesla actively working towards achieving full automation in future versions. In the initial stages, Optimus's capabilities are limited by the need to gather and process data to expand its functionalities. This process mirrors human learning. The more experience and practice, the more skills are improved. Tesla's strategy involves remotely controlling Optimus during its training phase. By performing household and factory tasks under human supervision, the robot gathers critical data, paving the way for autonomous operations. Priced in the range of $20,000 to $30,000, as Elon Musk has repeatedly emphasized, the Tesla Bot Gen 2 is a worthwhile investment. 
Did you know that an Optimus robot can save businesses at least $15,000 annually compared to hiring human labor? For families, savings on hiring domestic help could amount to $6,000 per year. Think about the money you could redirect toward more important things. Optimus is not limited to household chores. In agriculture, it can tend to crops, harvest them, or care for livestock. In industry, it is a powerful assistant, taking on tasks such as transporting goods, assembling components, or inspecting equipment. With at least eight 2D cameras and some of the world's best sensors, similar to those used in Tesla EV's self-driving software, Optimus can analyze movements, recognize faces, and alert you to unusual activities, whether day or night. With a battery life of up to 10 hours per charge, it can act as a security guard for your home, overnight, or during the day. As a caregiver, Optimus can assist with lifting and moving patients or performing basic tasks such as feeding and dressing them. For a smart robot like Optimus, monitoring health indicators like heart rate and blood pressure, and sending real-time reports to doctors or caregivers seems well within its capabilities. If you want it to function as a secretary, it can manage schedules, draft documents, reply to customer emails, or simply brew coffee every morning. A future like this doesn't seem so far-fetched, given Tesla's current progress, does it? If the Tesla Bot Gen 2 represents a robot freeing up busy humans' time, then CyberCab is the future of transportation. As we mentioned, at least three years ago, no one believed we would be sitting in a driverless taxi with no steering wheel, no pedals, yet completely safe. The launch event last October proved everyone wrong. Although Optimus has the potential to assist humans in numerous valuable tasks, it still faces skepticism due to unproven capabilities that many people expect. There are many reasons why some remain hesitant about Tesla's Optimus. Much like electric vehicles a decade ago, none of us could have predicted they would become as widespread as they are today, or that governments would actively encourage their adoption. And indeed, Tesla remains the world's leading EV manufacturer. What do you think about the possibility of the Tesla bot being sold by the end of the year? Under what conditions would you consider buying one? Thank you for watching our video. If you found the content helpful and want to explore more exciting information about Tesla bot, Tesla EVs, don't forget to hit the like button and share this video. Also, make sure to subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications so you never miss our latest videos. We appreciate your support and look forward to seeing you in the next episodes.